Jesus, God, my words for the ones that never heard this. Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this. My number one concern is we're living in a furnace. The less we try to change, the more it's gonna burn us. Hey everybody, Mikey here. Uh, today we're gonna do a, well, it's actually a rerun for me, but it'll be the first time you guys see this. A buddy of mine, he's a bodybuilder. And uh, these are some shirts I did for him. He's actually a trainer too. You can always hit him up on uh, Instagram. I'll uh, leave his link in the description below if you guys are into that or need a trainer. I mean, he's great. He's an actual professional bodybuilder. His name's, his name's Corey Curtis. Uh, we're gonna put these on a, put this on a 300 mesh. And uh, the reason I'm doing a 300 mesh is because since he works out, I didn't want it real thick so it's like stick to him and stuff, you know? So I put it on 300 mesh and do it on one hit. So it gives it almost like the water based appearance and it lets you breathe. But uh, let's throw this on the exposure. I took it off my screen rack that I built. I'll uh, try to post the description of that video up top. But this is the rack that I built. If anybody was interested in building one. And I just keep it covered up. Like, like so. And got my screen. I'm going to expose it real quick. And my particular exposure time for this unit is about three minutes. <laughs> oh, overshot it. I'm going to three minutes and two seconds because it takes about two seconds for the light to cut on. And now uh, the fun part, we wait. Waiting on this to expose, I just want to toss this out here. I got this Caps hat press. I know Vega, he uses it on his videos. I don't use it, so if anybody's wanting this thing, I'll let it go for 150 plus shipping. It's pretty heavy, so I'm not sure what the shipping would be, but I could tear it apart and put it in a box. Shouldn't be too bad. But if you're interested, hit me up on Instagram, uh, Soda City Works. We got it all washed out. Let you guys check it out. So what I normally do is after I uh, wash out a screen, put this next to my trash box. <laughs> I usually get some uh, some paper towel. I don't get the cheap stuff. I get like brawny or something that doesn't leave a lot of lint behind. I just go over easy just try to get up any water don't go down real hard on it because if you do you could pull your emulsion off see and then what's good about it see like that little bit come off right there it's actually off the top of these screens here so it helps you later on when you go to reclaim helps you wipe off that uh that emulsion but now we're going to take this outside. It's a pretty sunny day today, so I'm going to let it harden up. 
Well, it was sunny. <laughs> Clouds must have moved in. I'm going to be making some videos on that truck here shortly, hopefully, when I start restoring it. But yeah, I usually sit on my side of my shop right there. Keeps from back wind pushing it away. And uh, I'm going to let it sit there for about 15 minutes or so since it's not really that sunny. It's light out, so you're still getting UV light. It's just not direct sun baking it on, you know. But I'm going to let that sit a little bit, and uh, I'll get back to the video. Uh, this is how I register my pallets. Uh, everybody does everything different. <laughs> but uh, what I do, I make sure my pallets are the same on all four, since I got a 6x4. Make sure they're all equally spaced from there to the bottom of the pallet. And then I always draw my center line. And I always make sure my center line lines up between here to that center bolt. Then what I do is I'll put my image on the shirt where I, where I want the image to be. And I'll measure from one side of the image to the corner of the pallet and the same as the other. And then what I'll do is if the side to side's even, then I know the image is straight. And then I'll align the screen with the image and then I start printing. So first things first, we're gonna tape up this screen. I'm loving this PMI tape with the uh, non-stick on the other one, like, I don't know, a third of it. What I do, go around my outside. And then the first print I'm going to be doing is just the center, so I'm going to tape off the top. That's going to be for the front. And I'm going to check for any kind of pit holes. I got one in the corner here and one there, so I'm going to take those two up. I think we're ready to print now. I got the screen just sitting on the uh, the print head right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> I dropped you. Loosen these dolls up a little bit. There we go. We're about to do a test print. I'm gonna get some ink off another screen I was doing because I gotta clean it off anyway. So I may as well reuse some ink. I'm using some old business cards I've had. <laughs> Works pretty good. I feel like Antonio today from the ink build up. <laughs> Set 
sit you guys down while I clean this ink off my fingers. Alrighty. Do a quick test print. So I can set you guys up on the print head. Off contact. Can you guys see? No, you cannot see. Okay, now it's a little bit better. I'll try to flood the screen a little bit. There we go. <laughs> then all I'm gonna do is one hard push. The reason I did a test print, cause you know you gotta open up your screens. So the first one's gonna be a little bit off. So I'm gonna flash and hit this one again. I'm using the uh, Ryanet FN ink. It cures like 260, I believe you said. So I'm just going to flash it until about 210, 215. Just like that. Do one more quick pass on it. Set you guys down. Okay, use both hands to get an even stroke on. And there you go. That's how you do a plastisol through a 300 mesh. Like I said, all those other shirts, I'm going to do a one hit. That way, it just has that little faded, distressed look as well. But that's two hits, and like you, like you can see. You can still see some fiber. It's not a bad look, I don't think, but to each his own. <laughs> I hope this helps some people out. I mean, help help me out. I saw it on YouTube a couple weeks back and figured I'd try it. Looks good, I think. But uh, thanks for watching. I got some links below for everything I. I've used my past videos of uh, making things such as the uh, screen rack and stuff. If you guys uh, want to check any of that out and help the channel out, and please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. Thank you everyone and have a great and beautiful day. Got my words for the ones that never heard this Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this My number one concern is we're living in a furnace The less we try to change, the more it's gonna burn us 